Mastodon and its extinction. 1. What were they? Mastodons are relatives of elephants belonging to the genus Mammoth that inhabited North and Central America before they went extinct about 10,000 to 11,000 years ago. Typical adults stood between 8 and 10 feet, 2.5 to 3 m, tall at the shoulder and weighed around 8,000 to 12,000 pounds, 3,600 to 5,400 kilograms. The largest specimen found was 10.7 feet, 3.3 meters, tall and weighed 24,000 pounds, 11,000 kilograms. They lived in herds, mainly feeding on leaves and branches, a lot like modern elephants. Although some evidence suggests climate change may have contributed to their extinction, it is generally believed that human hunting by Paleo-Indians was the main factor in their disappearance. Around 13,200 years ago, a roving male mastodon died in a bloody mating season battle with a rival in what today is northeast Indiana, nearly 100 miles 160 kilometers, from his home territory, according to the first study to document the annual migration of an individual animal from an extinct species. The 8-ton adult known as the Bushing Mastodon, was killed when an opponent punctured the right side of his skull with a tusk tip, a mortal wound that was revealed to researchers when the animal's remains were recovered from a peat farm near Fort Wayne in 1998. 2. Evidence Northeast Indiana was likely a preferred summer mating ground for this solitary rambler, who made the trek annually during the last three years of his life, venturing north from his cold season home, according to a paper published today, June 13, 2022, in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. The study also shows that the Bushing Bull may have spent time exploring central and southern Michigan, which seems fitting for a creature whose full-size fiberglass cast skeleton is on display at the University of Michigan Museum of Natural History in Ann Arbor. 3. Your Travels the result that is unique to this study is that for the first time, we've been able to document the annual overland migration of an individual from an extinct species, said University of Cincinnati paleoecologist Joshua Miller, the study's first author. Using new modeling techniques and a powerful geochemical toolkit, we've been able to show that large male mastodons like Bushing migrated every year to the mating grounds. For the excavations. UM paleontologist and study co-leader Daniel Fisher participated in the Bushing Mastodon excavation 24 years ago. He later used a bandsaw to cut a thin, lengthwise slab from the center of the animal's banana-shaped, 9.5-foot right tusk, which is longer and more completely preserved than the left. That slab was used for the new isotopic and life history analyses, which enabled scientists to reconstruct changing patterns of landscape use during two key periods adolescence and the final years of adulthood. The Bushing Mastodon died in a battle over access to mates at age 34, according to the researchers. You've got a whole life spread out before you in that tusk, said Fisher, who has studied mastodons and mammoths for more than 40 years and helped excavate several dozen of the extinct elephant relatives. The growth and development of the animal, as well as its history of changing land use and changing behavior, all of that history is captured and recorded in the structure and composition of the tusk," said Fisher, a professor of Earth and Environmental Sciences, a professor of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology, and a curator at the UM Museum of Paleontology. Five areas covered. The team's analyses revealed that the Bushing Mastodon's original home range was likely in central Indiana. Like modern-day elephants, the young male stayed close to home until he separated from the female-led herd as an adolescent. As a lone adult, Bushing traveled farther and more frequently, often covering nearly 20 miles per month, according to the researchers. Also, his landscape use varied with the seasons, including a dramatic northward expansion into a summer-only region that included parts of northeastern Indiana, the presumed mating grounds. Under harsh Pleistocene climates, migration and other forms of seasonally patterned landscape use were likely critical for the reproductive success of mastodons and other large mammals. However, little is known about how their geographic ranges and mobility fluctuated seasonally or changed with sexual maturity, according to the new study. But techniques to analyze the ratios of various forms, or isotopes, of the elements strontium and oxygen in ancient tusks are helping scientists unlock some of those secrets. Research, Vitor Hugo Lizard Leonard. 
About my channel of curiosities, this channel is to see and hear curiosities of our world in general, if possible leave your like and subscribe to have new notifications about new subjects, thank you very much.